Snugged in the Root River Valley with a mix of rolling countryside and limestone bluffs is Lanesboro. There was a group of entrepreneurs from New York State who had discovered that the plans to build a railroad included coming through the Root River Valley. They came looking for land, according to the Lanesboro Historical Museum director Sandy Webb. The three-story museum our first stop. Webb says the entrepreneurs figured out they could build a dam for electricity. And in 1869, Lanesboro was founded. When the railroad stopped in 1978, the DNR had already been thinking about, hmm, what can we do with these railroad lines? The Root River State Trail is 42 miles of impeccable biking in the spring, summer, fall, and then in the winter, parts of the trail groomed for cross-country skiing. Of course, it runs along the river where some fishermen might share it's the best trout fishing in the state. Right now, it's catch and release season. The main street runs through a historic 19th century downtown with buildings renovated into businesses. A couple of new businesses opened up during the pandemic, including Sylvan Brewing. Take a walk nearby and you'll find more art and theater. The Common Wheel Theater Company has been around since the late 80s. There's a significant amount of people who sing and act and do skits. There was a, a program called Over the Back Fence. Um, that's been going for 25 years. It's almost all local people. If you're visiting, no shortage of places to stay. Sometimes you'd find two of these on a single block. Lanesboro is designated as the bed and breakfast capital of Minnesota, and it starts here at the historic Scanlon House. Interested in a bit more seclusion? All you have to do is drive five minutes to rural Lanesboro, and down a dirt road behind another rolling hill sits peacefully another B&B. This is a sacred Clay County Inn. It's closed right now, but we know a guy who could give us a look inside from the door for when it's back open. It sits on 103 acres of lovely organic farmland and woods and a trout stream that's one of the best in the upper Midwest. Fred Keel tells us about the timber frame construction for the four-story nine-bedroom home, the old shed turned wedding venue he now has out back, and why he marvels in living here. You know, I wake up in the morning, sometimes it'll be a a flock of wild turkeys marching up my driveway and other time deer and I saw a fox one time jumping through the snow to, to get mice. <laughs> the nature is fleeting and all a part of the allure of Lanesboro. And now back to where we started just outside the museum, a phone booth? Yep, treasured in this town. A bit of hoopla when it was moved once actually. If you pick up the receiver you can hear stories of the town's history. All these stories are part of the the human mix and the human celebration of this is who we are and and um, and we like being in this community together. The population of Lanesboro swelled to 1600 shortly after it was founded. Now it's around 750. Much more about Lanesboro can be found on care11.com. And you have one final chance to win an entire road trip package. To enter, head to care11.com slash mnroadtrip and enter the code word WINTER. One grand prize winner will also get a weekend stay package at Grandview Lodge. Good luck to everyone. It's a fantastic package indeed. Once again, WINTER, the code word.